Maru Cup is a proposed competitive format based on the Smogon rule set. The primary objective of Maru Cup is to find a balance between higher tier and lower tier Pokemon in order to bring a multitude of Pokemon into the limelight of competitive play, and for them to show their normally overlooked potential. Basically, it's a way to use some of your favorite Pokemon that would otherwise be left in the dust by other more mainstream Pokemon in the tier. The way Maru Cup achieves this is through a delicate balancing system based on how competitive a Pokemon is on its own, as well as how well it functions in the part of a team. This balance is achieved through a point value, or PV for short, assigned to each Pokemon and a point limit for your team. For example, Garchomp is a massive competitive threat, both on his own and as part of a team, so he would have a fairly high PV. While on the other hand, Roserade has some niche playsets, but its stats just don't hold up as well against OU threats like Mega Charizard, Tyranitar, or Volcarona. So Roserade would have a PV much lower than Garchomp. With the current team point limit in singles being 40, we would value Garchomp at a PV of 20 and Roserade at a PV of 5. This is how we achieve that balance between all Pokémon. Now, before we go any deeper into this, let me first outline some of the basic rules of Maru Cup. Keep in mind, the rules and values are constantly under scrutiny as this is a developing format, and are subject to change. Now, first of all, we will be following all of the Smogon Universal Clauses. Those can be found in the link in the description for any who don't know them already. Other rules are as follow. 1. The Fear Clause. A player cannot have a Pokemon who has a Focus Sash or the ability Sturdy with the move Endeavor. 2. A singles team can have a PV total of no more than 40. 3. A doubles team can have a PV total of no more than 80. 4. A team's total PV must be the total value of 6 Pokemon. Basically, you have to use a team of 6. Keep in mind, Pokemon have a different PV based on whether or not they're in singles or doubles. Any changes of these rules will be updated on the format's Discord, which can be found in the description below. With all this in mind, Garchomp having a PV of 20 means he's already half of your allotted total value for your team in singles, making the rest of your team much weaker in comparison. This is how we plan to have more middle of the road and lower end Pokemon come into the format. If you want to make a team based around Garchomp, you are forcing yourself to take some much weaker PU Pokemon as well. On the flip side, you could take several middle-of-the-road Pokemon like Roserade and Hydreigon in order to have a more balanced team. Both of these strategies are completely viable and tested in the format so far. So I'm sure by now you're asking yourself how you can possibly keep track of each Pokemon's PV. Well, although we will be looking at Pokemon on a case-by-case -case basis and adjusting certain standouts as needed, there is a simple PV system that will be applied to a majority of the roster. Keep in mind, these numbers are subject to change, and again, any changes will be posted on the format's Discord, link in the description. That simple PV system is as follows. OU, or overused Pokemon, will be valued at 20 PV. UU, or underused Pokemon, will be valued at 10 PV. RU, or rarely used, will be valued at 5. NU, or never used, as well as Little Cup Uber Pokemon, will be at 3 PV. And PU, and not fully evolved Pokemon, will be valued at 1. Now keep in mind, any not fully evolved Pokemon that is in a higher tier, such as Chansey being an OU, will be valued at its higher tier. So Chansey would be worth the full 20 PV. One notable exception that has already come up is Ditto. Ditto is a PU Pokemon that, in Maro Cup, gives a massive advantage to the player if they are able to switch in on and transform into an OU Pokemon on the opponent's team. Because of this, we have valued Ditto at a whopping 15 points rather than his original one. This is subject to change, but this is to off-put the chance of effectively having a second OU Pokemon on your team. Now, by this point, you might also be wondering about Borderline Pokemon. Because of the nature of Borderline Pokemon being put into Borderline, mostly because of threats in the tier above them, we have decided to move all Borderline Pokemon to the rank above them, in terms of PV. This would place Borderline Pokemon into OU, Borderline 2 Pokemon into UU, and so on. 
This is because in Maru Cup, they will not be restricted by the metagame that put them into Borderline to begin with. So, finally, with PVs and rules out of the way, let me show you a team that I won a small bracket with with the Maru Cup format. This is a team that I made mostly out of just my favorite Pokemon. I'm going to go ahead and tally it up just to give you an example of how to build a team. So first off, we have Nidoking, which is a UU Pokemon, putting his PV at 10, making my team total at 10 already. Hydreigon is another UU Pokemon, so his PV is 10, making my team total 20. Now, I've already used up half of my team total PV on just two Pokemon. You would think this would pose a threat, but this is actually the beauty of Mario Cup. This forces me to use some lower tier Pokemon to my advantage to make a team that is viable against everyone else's. So moving on from that, I used Machamp, which is an RU Pokemon, which only has a PV of 5, which put me up to a total of 25. Then I used Roserade, Galvantula, and Feraligator. All of these Pokemon are rarely used are RU, which has a PV value of 5 points, bringing my team total up to exactly 40. Now when making this team, I didn't think too much about strategy, I didn't think too much about any team that I could base this off of, because there are no teams out there that I could base this off of. This is a completely original and new format, so all I had to go off of are which Pokemon are my favorites. Three of my favorite Pokemon of all time are Roserade, Galvantula, and Hydreigon, and I managed to use all three of those on this team. I used this team against a bracket of other players using the same Maru Cup format and came out on top. This is a combination of Pokemon you would not see anywhere else, and that, I believe, is the beauty of Maru Cup. I got to use three of my favorite Pokemon, Hydreigon, Roserade, and Galvantula, all on a team, and it was viable. I was able to not only do well, but win. This is what Maru Cup is about. If you are interested in joining to help develop the format, or to just watch and see where the format goes, we have a fairly active Discord with a lot of plans coming up. We plan to make a Pokemon League with the format, having 8 gym leaders and Elite 4 that you can challenge and possibly become a part of. We also plan to have tournaments to determine the gym leaders. So if you're interested, you can find the Discord link in the description, and I hope to see you there. And thank you so much for watching this through to the end. It means a lot. This is a project I'm very invested in. I'm willing to put forth the work to make it take off. So thank you again, and until next time everybody, Zimara Tricks signing out.